Hi friends, welcome back. As you can see from my background, it is time for another magical unboxing because the Mist and Magic Box 4 Magical Jobs has arrived. Mist and Magic has been around for a while now, but they went through a move. They moved from France to Scotland, I believe. So they have been off the grid for a while, but now they're back with their new box, Magical Jobs. And some people already messaged me that this is an amazing box. So I am really excited. And if you like this kind of content, then definitely don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that bell so you never miss another video of me again. Let's get unboxing. Have you ever wondered if your job was the right for you? Or maybe you wondered what your true passion was? We are here to help. We've prepared this special box to help you find the magical career of your dreams. You will find items relating to jobs in well-known magical fields, as well as some lesser known professions from the magical world. We hope this box will inspire you to pursue the career of your magical dreams. That's the reason why I'm wearing this shirt, St. Mungo's, because I would like to think that if I had a career in the magical world, it would kind of be the same so a psychologist and some psychologists do work at hospitals so hence the shirt the box from mr magic isn't anything special it's just a normal box they do have this little sticker at the front that reads find your magical job so let's do that let's find our magical job take our first look Oh, there's just a lot of paper and another sticker. That's a really nice touch. It actually says fragile magical parcel delivered by Dragon Link Post. Number one delivery company for Arcanist. Compensation for loss will not be considered if the parcel bears suit stains or scratch marks without damage to the goods. In case the parcel is completely burned, please send a note to our customer service via Dragonling return. It almost looks like the box is empty, but I'm pretty sure it isn't. Ooh. Now that I have removed the paper, this is what I'm seeing. I can barely contain myself, but before I grab the first item, I wanna say thank you to my patrons. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for your support. And if you feel like it is something for you, then definitely come join us over at patreon.com. Just type in my name or click on the link in my description. There's the sun. Wow, that totally messes with my lighting. But anyway, you can support me from as low as three euros per month. You can stop at any time and it just really helps me out, especially when it comes to projects like the Triwizardathon, the Readathon I am hosting with Tabby over at Gryffindor Bookworm, but also towards uh, trying new subscription boxes, buying new equipment, all that stuff. Of course, there are other membership levels and each membership level comes with its own benefits and it's just super fun over there. There's this really heavy item in here and it looks like a black, tube and it has a sticker at the front that says enchanted distillery nocturne escape to the enchanted world magical gin so what could this be it's not alcohol right are they allowed to put alcohol in boxes i don't think so there's a bottle inside and it holds liquids again it has the same sticker and it reads magical gin pretty sure it's just a potion because there's glitter inside let's see yeah there is a little bit of let's see if you guys can you guys see that there's a little bit of glitter this light blue shimmer i'm just i'm just wondering if you can actually drink it can you open it it smells like blue though so i'm pretty sure you're not meant to drink it I'm not sure. I'm not gonna try, don't worry, but <laughs> I'm just really curious. It reminds me of um, the Cauldron experience. I've been there um, in London. It's this bar where you can make cocktails that look like potions. And I know that Ali and Tabby did the same thing in New York, the Cauldron experience. It kind of reminds me uh, of that. So maybe that's just wishful thinking and me hoping that there's alcohol in a Harry Potter subscription box, which is highly inappropriate, but still. So yeah, that's apparently the first magical job that I got out of this box, working at a bar. I really love the presentation of this item. It almost seems like it's glow in the dark or something that when you put it 
Oh, that would make sense. Nocturne. Not sure though. So that is item number one. Let's go for this little package. It says Dragonling Postal Service. So that's the service that was used to get this box to me. And there is a badge inside. Oh, that's so cute. It says Dragonling Staff Postal Service. It's purple with green, but they use this pastel shade and the dragon is sitting on the word staff. That's a really fun item. You can either put this on a jacket or a backpack or maybe even on your scarf. And because they didn't use really bright colors, I think it goes with pretty much anything. Speaking of bright colors, let's go for a very colorful box. Ah, okay. So this is kind of the joke shop Weasley's Wizard's Weezes magical job. It says exploding fireballs extra bang from the fairy fancy joke shop. Precautions. We recommend using gloves. These balls are very temperamental. They can explode at any time. So why would you ever want them if they can explode at any time? What use would you have for things that can explode at any time? Warning, keep away from young wizards and witches. Yeah, that would be a good advice. Or just keep away from any person. I love this box. It looks so fun. And this is going straight on my Weasley's Wizard Weasel shelf. And inside is this round shaped bottle with a cork that says extra bang. A little tag that again says exploding fireballs and there are all these little colorful balls inside the glass bottle such a fun item and so much attention to detail wow i think we have another little package from that same joke shop it reads magic fire and it says it's magic each match will produce a flame in the color of your choice no spell needed. And there's this strip at the side, so I'm assuming you can strike the match onto that. So are these matches? They are. Pretty sure this doesn't work, right? No, I feel really stupid now because it definitely won't work if there's not a hat on the match. It's just all these colorful sticks. <laughs> it's probably not allowed to send people matches, so yeah. I can forgive them, but I really wanted this to be real. I'm such a child, but that, that would be so much fun. More paper. Oh, that's an actual item. Paper. Mr. Magic, it really is a very unique box because they are inspired by the Wizarding World, but they have kind of created their own Wizarding World, probably to avoid trademarks, but it also makes them really unique. And they are very good at paper replicas and art prints. And I see some paper stuff at the bottom and I'm intrigued. So first up is this little packet and it reads Mist and Magic Collectible Cards. We have gotten these before. I think it was Wolfsbane Venom. Yep, Wolfsbane Basilisk Venom and Crystallized Dragon Blood. And these cards are gorgeous. They have this foiling on them. They look really authentic. And I love to use them for my bookcases because they make it look a little bit more magical. So let's see what kind of cards we got in the Magical Jobs box. No foiling this time, but they look amazing. The first one is Creatures Bazaar, Magical Creature Shop. And at the back, some information about the shop. Apparently the owner, Alice Dare Moore, is a friendly Scottish man with a big heart who takes care of his creatures like his own children. Then we have Curse Breaker. And at the back, you can see a job description and the skills that you need. And apparently it's a high risk job. And the final card is The Evening Owl, a magical newspaper based in Oxford, England. And again, you can read some more information about it on the back. This one is really detailed. There's even a photograph of two dragons above a lake. We got another item relating to the Dragonling Puzzle Service. Guide to Parcel and Letter Services, valid from the 1st of January, 2021. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, look at that. It has a size guide. Apparently the smallest dragon is economy 
<laughs> just like real life. And then you have standard and priority. At the back, it says something about parcel tracking, how to send your parcel, choose a sturdy box, close it securely, take it to your local post office. And it even has some magical ads. And I love that it's purple with blue and that it's got this funky shape. Really cool, really cool item. Probably I need better curtains because these are, mm -mm. Okay, so far we got the joke shop, the distillery, and the postal service. What is next? This seems like a magazine. It's called The Arcanist. Again, the purple. I love it. Purple is one of my favorite colors. The number one magical publication of the arcane world. Find your magical career. Ooh, is there a test that we can take or something? Wow, you guys. This looks so professional. Ooh, there is a quiz. Oh, I need to stop saying ooh. I kind of want to do this right now, but I'm afraid that the video will be really long if I do. It's so funny because there are nine questions, but they're scattered all over the place. So number one is over here, but then number two is over here, number three. On the next page, you can find the answers. There is something about being a dragonologist, an advertisement for the very fancy joke shop, wand course, Welcome to the ancient art of wand making. Martial wands. <laughs> An advertisement for a featherling tournament. That is cool. Kind of like Quidditch, but then on hippogriffs, I'm assuming. A portrait of Lana Volikova, Magizualist. An advertisement for sweets and tricks. They did an art print about this and it's on my art wall. It looks amazing. Oh, and then this is the spoiler card. Okay, so let's not look at that. And it ends with some more advertisements. I kind of want to do this discovery or magical career quiz. I'm just, I'm going to do it. Answer these questions truthfully by circling the room associated with each answer. Count how many times you've circled each room and report your results on the next page to unveil your dream magical profession. Choose the location that most appeals to you. Okay, that's an easy one for me. Old library full of ancient tomes. Number two, what are your favorite hobbies? Reading books, yes, again, probably. No, definitely not exercising. But I would also be a person that would love to practice new spells and wards. So I'm gonna go for that one. So where's number three? What kind of story would you like to be in? Uh, probably a mystery. Yeah, I'm not that adventurous. I like a good adventure, but I also want to be comfortable. So not looking for drama. Also not looking for like thriller and horror and stuff like that. Historical, I, I would love that actually, historical. But again, comfort level. So I'm gonna go with mystery. Yes, I'm gonna go with mystery. What would you do on your dream holiday? I would probably visit all the shops and stalls to discover new magical products. Choose your weapon. I'm such a Ravenclaw, but I want to say your knowledge. And six, what were your three favorite subjects in school? Spells, magical law and criminology, and probably history of magic. I'm so boring. <laughs> what did you get in trouble for most as a kid? Probably sticking my nose where I shouldn't. I was a very nosy kid and I always had an opinion about everyone. Which word accurately describes you? Definitely not daring. I'm gonna go with entrepreneurial. I I'm always trying new things, like starting a YouTube channel and stuff like that. So let's go for that one. And then the final question, who would be your ideal dinner guest? I think I'm gonna say Rick Altman who is the curator at the Museum of Arcane Mysteries. I could talk to someone like that forever, probably. Okay, so it's basically just count the rooms. Okay, apparently I am passionate about divination, reading signs and the stars to discover the future and yourself. You feel that there are many things that we don't see and you seek to unveil the hidden world. You are fascinated by dark artifacts, the spirit world, and have the soul of a dark spirits hunter. The magical jobs for me are a seer, astrologist, a ghost and dark spirits hunter, dark art specialist, a philosopher <laughs> and a good second is you love learning and history studying old manuscripts uncovering their secrets for you books are everything especially dusty and very old ones. and that means i could be a professor historian of magic librarian magical researcher or museum curator 
that sounds a little bit more like me. The work, the work that they put into this and the details. I love it, I love it, I love it. So as I said, the spoiler card is also in this magazine. So let's put it aside for now and let's go for another item. I think there's a mug in here. It's funny because my boyfriend is actually complaining that my mugs take up too much space in our kitchen. <laughs> And he told me to put them elsewhere and I was like, no, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> and now I got another mug. He'll be delighted. Let's take a look at the design. Oh, it's very colorful. This almost looks like a peek into the house of a potioneer. There's a lot going on. There are ingredients, potion bottles. There's this painting that we actually got a canvas art print of. There's a beautiful bronze cauldron with a purple flame, some books, scrolls, and a very big sword next to a bookcase. I really like this mug. It looks super magical. I just don't like it when they do this, when they leave a blank space between the prints. It's probably easier that way, but it just looks a little bit weird to me. But other than that, I... I love it. I absolutely love it. Another magical mug to add to my collection. Next up is a beautiful green velvet pouch with a golden string with tassels. What is in here? Oh, it's wrapped in green paper. Oh, I was not expecting that. It is a pin, a healer pin from St. Mungo's. Kira Healer Personalis. And at the bottom it says R8. G. Not sure what that stands for. Maybe they've created their own name. It's a lovely pin and it's super shiny. Talking about super shiny, there's the sun. They used very subtle colors and then the snakes in the middle are a beautiful green. This is the magical job I feel most connected to because I am a healer of the mind. This is definitely going on one of my magical pin banners. And again, the presentation, love it. There's this really big, big thing in here. And I'm thinking it's one of their art prints. They always look so pretty. And I am just really excited to see what this one is. It feels very thick. They always protect their art prints so well. There's two things in here. So let's remove that one. Let's first look at this one, it's the Featherling Tournament, the one that we saw in the magazine. It's the Celtic Shamrocks versus the Black Kelpies. Ireland versus Scotland. That is amazing. Oh, that is going up on my art wall, baby. I don't know how they do it because it's not like the actual Harry Potter world, but oh, it just looks so magical. And I can totally imagine going to a Featherling Tournament. And even the persons on the hippogriff look so realistic. The person who did this is so freaking talented. So what could this be? Oh, it has something to do with wands. Wait, there are two pieces of paper. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is definitely a magical job where you are a wand maker. So there's this wand number one from 1927. It has the materials and the pattern. If you would work at a wand shop and you would be the wand maker, this is what you need. Oh, I wish this one was real. I would buy that in an instant. Gold leaves, hello. And they both have this authentic looking stamp at the bottom. It all has really high display value, if that's something you can say about items. I mean, they don't have the most practical items, but that's okay because they don't really have monthly boxes. It's just all about displaying your items and paying attention to detail and making them look magical. There are two items left in this box. Let's go for the envelope because it says, Featherling tournament and we already got a poster of that. Maybe this is my invitation or something. It has a beautiful stop moving. It <laughs> the poster was like curling in on itself. <laughs> but it's an annoying sound. Stop it. The envelope has a beautiful sticker that says the greatest magical event of the year. Featherling tournaments. There's no wax seal. A little bit disappointed by that. And inside is indeed a ticket to the tournament. Wow, hello. 
gold foiling. That is gorgeous. It's the same match as on the poster and it says that I need to go to gate 7, section 5, row 21 and seat 58. That's a big stadium. And it comes with a little betting slip so I can bet on the outcome. Again, wow so much attention to detail it blows my mind i wish this was real and i could actually go there <laughs> and then for the final item you guys it feels like a little box the elder dragon dragonologist care kit oh this is amazing this is so cute grooming products for bearded gentlemen in need of protection <laughs> against hazardous sparks and flames you never know when it's going to set ablaze be prepared Oh wow, they have added actual instructions. Apply the fire resistant beard oil, comb your beard, apply the skin balm. Is this for real? Can a man with a beard actually use this? Oh no, it's empty. It's empty. <laughs> There's nothing in here. It does have a sticker that says fire resistant beard oil with a little bit of gold foiling and some flames surrounding it. And the skin balm protects from burns and cuts. And I'm guessing that this one is empty as well. Oh wait, there's actually balm in here and it's very gold. But I think these are for display purposes only. And that was everything in the Mist and Magic Magical Jobs box. This was an experience. Did I find my magical career? I don't know. I'm kind of disappointed that there is nothing in this box that refers to being a magical librarian or a magical bookshop owner, but that's been done before a lot of times probably. So they wanted to be unique and original, but man, did they add items? Wow, so much attention to detail. I'm blown away by it. From Mist and Magic, magical stationery and artifact shop based in Scotland. All the items of the box are designed in-house. The Arcanist magazine is written and illustrated by Mist and Magic. That is so impressive. They make everything themselves. And these are two sisters, Gemma and Virginia. And let's take a quick look in case I missed anything. All right, all items of the box are for display purpose only. No magical gin. <laughs> ah, the mini mug. Yeah, I thought it was a little bit smaller than normal mugs. It is 100% microwave and washing machine safe. And of course the magazine itself. So 13 items in total. And I'm wondering if this is a sneak peek into the next box, that it's about the Winterdale University of magic because that would be so cool. So this is the part where I say something about this box. I can only say, wow, I am, I am still kind of blown away and impressed by the amount of detail, quality of the items, the care, because you can really see that they took care of this box. I'm fully aware of the fact that this is probably not the box for everyone because they have a high focus on stationery. Um, art prints and stuff like that. Everything is kind of focused on displaying your items. But if you are into that, then this is probably the best box out there at the moment. Because damn, they do such a good job. And I said this before, but it's so different from other boxes and that makes them unique. And it also makes me curious for their next box. So I will definitely purchase that one. Do I have a favorite item? I think I do. I think I do. And I'm, I'm gonna say that it is this magazine. There's just so much in it that I actually want to read. But I have to say I'm also kind of in love with the wand sketches and all the other art prints. It just feels so mature. Like you can put this up anywhere in your house. Some Harry Potter prints, especially when characters are on there, come off a bit childish. And that's okay, I don't mind because you either love it or you don't. This just has this more mature feeling to it. It's almost adult fantasy and I love that. Overall, this was just a strong box. And again, if you're not into these kind of items, then it probably isn't the box for you. But if you are, this is a very, very strong box and I am really happy with all the items. As always, let me know your opinion. I am super curious to hear what you guys thought of this box. Did you have a favorite or maybe a least favorite item? And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and let's stay in touch.